Johnny Greenblatt. How nice of you to join the Breakfast Club. This video, sir, is especially for you. But first, before I get started, I'm going to let you speak. So the Anti-Defamation League, let's just step back. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest anti-hate organization in the United States. It was founded in 1913 after a Jewish man was lynched. He'd been falsely accused of a crime, wrongly convicted, and ultimately the mob tore him from his jail and they hung him from a tree. Let's deal with this. Let's meet the man good old Johnny Boy is talking about, Leo Frank. Leo Frank raped and murdered a 13-year-old white girl named Mary Fagan in 1913. When caught, he cried anti-Semitism and claimed two, quote, niggers were the real killers. Nobody, listen, nobody, black or white, believed him. And he was lynched in 1915. For a century, Jews have blamed black men for Leo Frank's heinous crime. In March of 1986, the state of Georgia posthumously pardoned Leo Frank, and probably because of all the pressure from the ADL. But check this out. In 2015, the Nation of Islam researchers uncovered evidence proving without a shadow of a doubt that Leo Frank, the father of the ADL, committed the crime after all. And all of this information is, of course, made available in the secret relationship between blacks and Jews. Gotta get that book, family. Folk out here lying and you don't even know it. But let's dig a little deeper. Part of the ADL's mission statement is to secure justice and fair treatment to all. So I wonder if they attack this man by the name of Louis Buchalter as hard as they're attacking Ye and Kyrie. Who's that, Brother Joshua? I'm glad you asked. Louis Buchalter was a Jew who attended the Rabbi Jacob Joseph School where he was a, quote, honor roll student. This devil became one of the largest importers and distributors of heroin, cocaine, and opium in the United States. He sent young women around the world to smuggle in massive amounts of narcotics, most destined for the black inner cities. But check this out. This demon is best known for turning murder into an industrial commodity. His enterprise of Jewish murderers, known as, get this, Murder Inc., committed 1,000 contract murders in the USA, more than the entire Ku Klux Klan ever committed. Mr. Greenblatt, you care to comment on this? 